Welcome back. We are here looking at the ETFs and it's going to be my daily forecast for Tuesday, June 15, 2021. If you like to support the channel, welcome hit the subscribe button down here in the corner, hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And we'll start by looking at the ARK Innovation ETF. And as you can see, we're up on nearly 2% today. We are broken way past the 200 moving average and are heading now towards the 150 moving average up here at 123. So it looks like most of these stocks that have been fallen for the last three months, they are starting to uh, wake up again. Most of the big tech stocks uh, have really rallied today, as you can see on the list here. They're up at one to two, nearly three percent. Most of the major tech stocks, and that of course affects the Nasdaq as, as well. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD. Now the MACD with a bullish band, we are basically at the top of the bullish band. So a pullback could be expected, but should expect a support down here at the 50 moving average. If you see the stochastic, it is bullish, the MACD is bullish, the CCI, uh, the RSI is also bullish, but we are significantly overbought at this point, and the CCI is also bullish. So even though most of these indicators are showing a lot of bullish, we are fairly overstretched and significantly overbought. So pullback could be expected before uh, rallying to the upside. So let's look at DVI. So DVI really took a nose dive today all the way down to the 50 moving average and then uh, rallied slightly. So if we were to break uh, below the 50 moving average, which uh, would be very surprising, we could see this drop significantly to the downside towards the 100 moving average. That's a drop of roughly 5.5% to the downside. We are fairly overstretched here. We did hit the bottom of the bullish band. So a uh, bounce from here could be expected. If we rally above the 20 exponential, then we could go back and retest these previous highs. Otherwise, technical indicators are looking dreadful. They're all very bearish at this current stage. So let's look at VTI. So VTI has rallied, uh, not much, 0.15%, and we're heading towards the top of the Bollinger Band here. We have broken past the previous highs here of 219, and at this current stage, we are probably targeting 225. If we look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is bullish, the Stochastic is bullish, CCI is bullish, RSI is becoming to turn around here, and it's also significantly overbought. So a pullback from here, could be expected as we are approaching the top of the bullish band as well. But we are in an uptrend and uh, most of these pullbacks will most likely be bought into quite significantly. So let's look at MCHI. So you can see that we have basically been flat the last few trading days. If we break below the 50 moving average, then we could go all the way down to the 300, which is a previous lows here. Uh, to the upside, uh, we have a, uh, 84, which was a previous highs here where we had tested several times and have not, not managed to break through. Uh, technical indicators, we can see the MACD is flat, CCI is flat, um, RSI is flat, and the stochastic is turning around here, may cross the signal line in the next few trading days. And that could uh, give an indication that we are ready to go and test the 84 again. We're right, right here in the middle of the bullish band, and if we break, down from here and we could drop towards the 78 and then towards the 300 moving average and that's a drop of six percent to the downside to the upside we have the 84 as a rally of 3.6 percent to the upside breaking off the 100 moving average well that opens the door to the previous highs here it says look let's look at ibb so IBB is up 0.24%, and um, yes, if we manage, we have basically broken through at these previous highs here, and uh, that means that we could go towards 430. If you look at technical indicators, we can see the MACD is uh, ever so slightly bullish, and the RSI is uh, kind of bearish at this point. CCI is bullish, the stochastic is bullish, and we are getting very close to the top of the bullish band. So 428, there's where you could expect this to pull back. And if we pull back from here, then we should find support around the 420. And that's right at the 20 exponential moving average. But 430 will most likely be uh, the target here. So hope you find this helpful. You're willing to support the channel by subscribing. Hit the like button, the bell button to see our newest videos. And good luck and thank you very much.